So we had a little bit of a um, situation with the times. Hey guys, so it's Friday um, and today's a very exciting day because it's Eagle's first PSG. So, um, so what's been happening? I don't want to start the vlog off on like a bad note. I guess it's not a bad note because every bad day you learn a lot from. But yesterday I had quite a tough day um, with training. So David came over for some lessons and last time David was here, the same thing kind of happened with Wilf. And then it happened again this time. And I think it's because I had people um, around, like over. So I had my sponsors over last time and then we had Zoe uh, who's here on work experience. And I always seem to put this massive amount of pressure on myself when I have new people watching me um, riding. Yeah, I put this pressure on myself for it to be like kind of stand up to expectations and I think especially because of vlogging and stuff and now everything's so open and public like I feel sometimes I put like pressure on myself that it has to go I have to ride really well um and especially like even like that my mindset's good because obviously like I give out loads of like advice on mindset and stuff I felt like I kind of always had to be in this position where I'm yeah always doing it well and like always getting it right and i know that's so silly and that's so not how life is but yeah i guess i just put that pressure on myself and also i was trying to fix the pixio camera both times before riding and it wasn't working and like my focus was not at all on my riding it was like i was annoyed that the camera wasn't working and then i went into my lesson like hadn't really been thinking while i was warming up hadn't like steadied my mind focused my mind and it all just went a little bit peak tong and <clears throat> The funny thing is, like, Wilf wasn't even going badly. He was going very, very well. But I was... Do you ever find when you, you're you in a bad place with your mindset, you get frustrated that you're in a bad place with your mindset and then you get more frustrated and upset? And it's like a vicious loop. And you're like, just get a grip. Like, there's nothing even that wrong. And then you're like, okay, one, two, three, calm. And then you're like, nah, there, it comes back again. And then I just like, yeah, I get so... Um, I get so disappointed in myself and I feel so ashamed that I can't like I haven't got my mindset in a like right place but this is all like part and parcel of dealing with it and I think like now I'm quite lucky like I'll have maybe a day like that and then it will go um whereas before it would be like months and months and months so it is you know we're still moving forwards and actually like ironically the book I was listening to that is where that quote came out of it this morning so I've written that down in my um performance diary got all that out there um also i'd say like what i've learned from this experience is that like there's three areas of my life at the moment that i'm working on i've got um performance i've got business and i've got spiritual so business and spiritual i am doing really well i have like sh scheduled things that i do it on um like scheduled times that i work on it but performance I know it sounds really silly like when I'm riding you'd think that'd be working on performance but there's still more I can be doing so things like visualization um learning to like focus my mind before riding and competing all that sort of thing and that's what I feel like I've been neglecting I do find it hard to balance out all these three things and fit them in um like the, these are three areas I'm trying to grow in and trying to learn in um obviously there's other areas in my life and I get that but these are the three ones like I kind of have separated them um and really working on them all does this make any I have no idea if this makes any sense I've been rambling on for four minutes um but anyway yeah I just it, it's finding that balance isn't it and I I sometimes worry that I'm putting too much energy into building a business and that side of things because I do have big factors of why I want to do that like one of them is like a massive burning desire to help people another one is a massive burning desire to be independent and financially be able to support myself so they're really strong pulls towards the business 
Um, but then I've also got to remember that I've got to still put the time <clears throat> and the effort into the performance side because that is really important to me. What's hard is like performance is more of a selfish thing, which I'm not very good at anymore. I used to be a lot better at it, but now I'm not so good at it. Um, so, you know, improving myself as an athlete, that's what I really need to keep focusing on as well, because obviously my dream is to be one of the top riders in the world. Um, and I need to work on it. I need to focus on my mindset. And as well, like focusing on my mindset will help my business side of it and also I'll be able to give you guys more advice. Does this make any sense? If this made sense to you, please comment and like comment about this part. I know you're literally like only two minutes and five minutes into the vlog, but I just feel like I had to get all that out. Oh, I hope that makes sense. I think it might. Anyway, I'm gonna go and ride um, Jaffa and Wilfred. Pixie camera is working, let's see how that goes. I'm gonna try and not get stressed about it, remember? Between stimulus and your response, there is a space. Between that space comes our growth and happiness. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna learn that saying. Anyway, let's do this. You got this. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe, she's like, yeah, but mine was in the wash. The woman in blue. I just washed that for best. <laughs> are we excited? Yeah, we're excited. Why are we excited? We're going to the first PSG with Eagle. Woo! Grandma. I'm a grandma. <laughs> I'm a cake grandma. I make a lot of cake. <laughs> Eat it. So I was just merrily trying to record and uh, my camera ran out of battery, but we're back on it now, guys. So the camera is set up, the other camera, the Pixio camera. We're going to go ride Wolfie. Yay! Anyway, so I'll see you with the next camera. So Wilf was amazing. Did the most amazing, he was amazing, wasn't he, Zoe? He was amazing. Amazing. Did the most amazing piaf, massage, he was amazing, wasn't he, Frankie? trot. He was amazing, wasn't he, Frankie? He was, he was amazing. <laughs> right, the reason I'm having to say this is because we do not have video evidence of this because the Pixio camera, again, didn't follow through. It decided to not start recording today. So I'm there going round, it's tracking me. I'm like, yep, yeah, got it on film. <laughs> Gonna be the best vlog ever. Yeah, no, didn't record any of it. So um, I feel like I'm gonna email Pixio. And also, yeah, also one of the beacons died. So it's all fully charged and they've been on for less than an hour and number two has completely gone flat. And that's the one that I sent back. So to be honest, I'm really, 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 really hating Pixio right now. Um, there's my review at the moment, but I'm gonna persist. I wonder if a Pixio person's gonna be watching this. If you are, they better be because I am. Sort it out! I spent so much money on this thing. Love <laughs> sick. Beep you. Beep beep. <laughs> No, it's how you doing? How you doing? How you doing, Joey? It's a rat. It ran at me. Fuck it ran at me. I'm you fine. screaming? <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so Eagle is clean and I'll plat him later, but I have to now pack my car because I have to go straight from Summer House to Buckinghamshire because I have a clinic tomorrow, which is one of the OTD on tour. Um, what else was I going to tell you? Oh yeah, I rode Joey today. I rode him yesterday, but the reason I wanted to ride him again today, only for like five minutes, was just because... I just wanted to see if he was better the second day. Moldy was incredible yesterday, so I just left it there. Um, but Joey was not really wanting to go forwards, a little bit spooky. So I wanted to see if he'd be better the day after, and he was much better. So, um, yeah, that's really good. What else? Uh, yeah, I'm going to pack my car. I'm just going to try and charge this Pixio thing so I can try again Monday. I'm so sad, guys, because honestly, it was such a good training session and I like felt like I really nailed it. <sighs> Typical. I'm just gonna fuel up, then plat up. Get ready. I'm all ready for the show and I'm so excited. It's like the proudest moment. So I've had Igor since he was two um, and I've ridden him from like a breaker to now and I've trained him all by myself. And yeah, I just feel so proud of him and me. And we're going to do our first TSG, which is so cool. So um, yeah, I mean, I've run through it at home and it was a clear round. It can be very different at a show. So I'm going to just aim for a clear round. But either way, I'm going to be really happy, really excited. Um, yeah, I'm just so proud. I'm so, so, so excited. I'm feeling much better. Oh, that's awkward. I'm feeling much better. Um, I'm feeling much better today about everything. Because um, obviously I told you guys how yesterday went. Today is much better. And I, I always say it. Like, I always come back so much stronger from when I have a bad day. And so I feel like the bad days are needed. At the time though, I'm like, this is terrible. Like, you feel like this grey mist has descended over you. Um, but yeah, like, it's so nice that I can always come through it. And I come through them quite quickly now. It only takes like a day. Um, and then come out better for it, which is really cool. So some advice David gave me yesterday, and I think you guys will really find it useful. Um, I was really struggling with the PF. And what was happening is I was asking him to PF. And Wilf was like humping up. And then when he was humping up, like um, going creep high, I'd be like, oh no, I've done it wrong. And I'd stop, I'd walk off and then I'd try again. And David's like, what you're teaching him is that when he does that, he stops. And you're basically telling him that that's the right thing. He's like, you've got to get what you want and then walk. So he said, it doesn't need to be perfect, but he's got to, it's got to be like the inkling of it. So for example, like it didn't have to be the perfect PF, but he has to do like a stride of PF, not hump up at you before you walk. Otherwise you're teaching him to hump up. Um, this word is making me laugh, but do you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, so, you know, if it's not going well and it's not going exactly how you wanted to, you have to salvage out of it best you can, let them know when they've done the right things, you give them a pat, and then, um, yeah, and then try again, and then, yeah, you can get better each time, but it's so important that we don't just give up and go, ah, it didn't work, um, and stop because, you know, the horses don't learn from this, and it's something that I've always struggled with, um, and I'm so glad that David's so truthful with me, and he does it in the best possible way, you know, he doesn't, doesn't ever do it in a nasty way, he only does it because, you know, he wants me to succeed in my riding, so, uh, thanks David if you're watching this. By the way, I did everything you told me to do today and it went much better, so um, definitely should always listen to your trainer. <laughs> anyway, let's go plat, whoa, let's go plat eagle up. How cute's my little Ecrochrome mug, by the way? say mercy and dressage though huh why does he say mercy and dressage <laughs> she's like i'm no otd puppy <gasps> you're not otd puppy yes you are i belong to the mercy and brand i do um yeah 
And the Mercy and Brand. Really? Yes, I'm my Mega Man, my your first PSG. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna do you proud, I am, yeah, Laura. You, yeah, you are. Do you proud? I've got something for you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mum's tidying up ahead of the time. This is so weird driving to a show in my car. I'm like, where's the horse? I'm like, I'm missing something. Anyway, let's go. I'm so excited. It's so sunny which is amazing at this time of year. Um, so I'm at Summer House now and I'm just waiting for the lorry to get here. I really need the loo. So um, I'm gonna go to the loo and then I'm gonna find the lorry and then we're gonna get on Vive and then we're gonna smash the PSG. Uh, yay. Hi, Annie. Hi, Annie.
Good boy. It's like shit, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> Never done one of those before. Good Olivia. <laughs> well yeah. done. Good. Well done. Nurse through very nicely for a baby girl. It's a little less easier than the last one she rode at this level. <laughs> <laughs> You're a naughty baby. Good. Yeah, oh no, right. yeah. Yeah. Oh, good boy. right because otherwise I'm going to be in trouble with her as usual. Good, flat, flat, flat. And change. Good. That's fine, dude. I half thought needs to be good. I half thought needs to be more discreet, I think. Stop. Everybody stay calm. So we had a little bit of a um situation with the times mum thought i was on at 417 i was actually on at 317 so well, luckily to luckily we got to slot in somewhere but beave only had like 15 minutes warm up but it's fine because he did everything and we got through it if it, it had gone wrong it would have been a disaster for me <laughs> <laughs> oh dear I am. No, it was good for his first one, just the balance was not ideal. His changes were a little bit downhill, but yeah, it's still the first one, so we're fine. Me! Okay, so I've just written up some notes um, about like mindset wise how I felt at the show, and I think the main thing that I've taken away from it is that I set my goal to go and have a clear round. And then whilst I'm going round, I'm like, oh, it doesn't feel good enough. I know he can be more uphill, he can be better, he can be better, he can be better. And I kind of forgot like what my initial goal was and that was just to get a clear round and I had it. Um, and I think because it didn't feel as good as I know it can at home, I then feel disappointed in myself. And I guess the expectations of me and also Eagle were actually higher than what I initially set. So I think it's really important to like, when I set a goal to stick to it. And also it's his first one. Um, so I'm kind of disappointed in the fact that like I don't feel like yeah I kept my mindset in the best way but over the past couple of days I feel like I'm just having one of those moments one of those times which is so normal um yeah I haven't even told you guys what he got sorry so Eagle got 68% which is so good for his first PSG um, and he did everything and actually when I watched the video back it never looks as bad as it might feel like for me I'm like I know he can be more balanced I know he can be more uphill and more on the hind leg um, but it never looks as bad as it feels especially in the trot the trot always looks better than I think the canter yeah he does need more balance but again like that's a strength thing and um, he needs to just sit onto his hind legs more but he's only just turned nine um, and that will come with age because he was a big gangly horse so um literally like just have to stop being so tough on myself which is easier said than done and it's actually what i'm going to talk to charlie about next time this is why i'm writing all these notes down so when i go and see charlie we can like sort it out um but yeah this is the real life of a dressage rider so anyway i am now going to drive up to buckinghamshire with my boyfriend um he's going to come with me because 
we are on the Sunday going to Bista Village and it's like next door to where I'm teaching. So tomorrow he's going to do whatever. I'm going to teach and then we are going to Bista Village on Sunday. So yeah, he's going to drive me to Buckinghamshire now while I work and edit this yeah, vlog. Yet to settle down. Which is very nice of him. Um, yeah, anyway, let's go.